Hi! On today's session, we're going to discuss the logical operators. And this would be our following objectives. In some situation, we test our logic with not just one, but two or more conditions before we execute a given statement. To simplify our discussion of operators, we will use two operands conditions to explain how logical operators work. Remember that it is not limited with just two conditions. You can increase the number of conditions depending on the logic algorithm of your solution needs. How does it work? Logical AND needs all conditions to be set to true to make the compound statement true. So here on our screen, you could see uh, if there is a false existing on both conditions, the entire compound condition is set to false. Of course, you need to make all conditions true to make the compound condition true. Just remember that one false result or any of the conditions makes the compound condition false. Logical OR Logical OR is just a reverse of AND in terms of handling true operand. If one of its condition is set with true value, the compound condition is set to true. You remember, one true result on any of the conditions makes the compound condition true. How about logical NOT? Logical NOT complements or reverses whatever the value of the operand when validated with this operator. If the condition is true and combined with the NOT operator, then it will be read as NOT true. Same with false condition, it will be read and validated as NOT false. What are the symbols to use? For logical AND, we use uh, double ampersand. And for logical OR, we use a double pipe symbol. And for NOT operator, we simply use the exclamation point. To fully understand the concept of logic operators, we will have a problem. We're going to create program employee test that will promote an employee based from the result of test 1 and 2 scores. Use the following conditions to determine the position. If test 1 score is greater than 90 and test 2 score is greater than 90, make employee manager. If test 1 is greater than 90 or test 2 is greater than 90, make employee supervisor. If the test one score did not reach greater than 90, make no promotions. Okay, let's create our program. Right click. Enter the name of the program. We start our method main. We'll use a scanner class to handle our input. We import the package for the scanner class first. Declare test1 score and test2 score. Initialize it with 0.
prompt the user to enter score on test 1. Let's have test 1 score here that will handle the input. Same what we did, test 1. Let us validate our scores. Test 1 greater than 90. We use a logical AND, double ampersand. Steps 1 score. So the second condition is test 2 score. And we use or enclose everything by parentheses, making compound conditions. Tell the program to make the employee if it did not pass the first set of criteria, we use an else if. We'll have a second criteria. One. This time we're going to use logical or double pipe symbol. Enclose everything by parentheses. So this would be the supervisor's criteria. The first two sets of criteria were not met. We'll have another criteria and else if. So here we're going to use a logical not exclamation point. We simply say make no promotion. We notify the user that the program terminates. Let us save and run. Let us say our first score is 94, 91, make employee manager. Let's test another scenario. We run. The score 1 is 94 still. And the second one is 89. Make employee supervisor. Last scenario, rerun. So let us say the score is 85 and then 81. Make no promotions, the program terminates. Let us discuss the different scenario on what we did on the program. We have the portion of the program. We prompt the user to enter score. We enter 94. 94 is stored on test 1 score. We prompt the user to enter test 2 score. We enter 91. 91 is stored on test 2 score. We validate. Is test 1 score greater than 90? True. We validate again. Test 2 score greater than 90? True. So we make the entire condition true. So we display the make employee manager. After this, it will proceed on the last line, the program terminates. Let us proceed on test on scenario two. We prompt again the user to enter test one score. We enter 94. We store 94 on test one score. From the user to enter test to score, we entered 89. We stored 89 and test to score. We validate test one score. Is this true? Yes. We validate the test to score. If this is true, 
false. So this is logical and one false means the entire condition is false. So it will proceed on the next else if condition and revalidate the operands. Is test one score greater than 90? That is still true. Test two score greater than 90. That's still false because this is logical or operator. So the entire condition is true. So we make our employee supervisor. Then after that, it will proceed on the last line, the program terminates. We proceed now on scenario three. Prompt again to enter score one. We entered 85. We store score one. Prompt again to enter score two. We enter 81. 81 is installed on test two score. We validate test one score greater than 90. False. Test two score greater than 90. False. So the entire condition is false. We proceed to the next line. Is test one score greater than 90? Of course, this is false. Test two greater than 90? This is also false. Since this is logical operator or everything that is false will be equal to false. So we will bypass the next statement and proceed to the else if. And then we validate. Is test one score not greater than 90? The answer is true. We make no promotions. And then we terminate the program. Hi, this is Jerry. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see the script or codes of this tutorial, please click the link below. Do visit us on our Facebook and Twitter account. Don't forget to hit the like buttons.